Here's a quick guide on how to change a stroke to an object on Affinity Designer for the iPad. First, we're going to need a stroke line. Let's just make sure we've got a color and the stroke selected. And go over to our pencil tool. I've got my rope stabilizer on to give a nice smooth curve, and we'll just draw out a shape. And there, down the middle, we can see we have a path with nodes on, which if I pick up the node tool, we can change and add, delete nodes. But what if we wanted to change the edges? How do we get to the edges? So let's just go over to the three dots and we're going to go expand stroke. And that'll move that path to the outside. And now all those curves have new nodes, which we can bend and manipulate independently. One way this technique could be really useful is for hand-drawn type. I'll just draw out a letter. Naturally, it's got to be a P. And then go up to the three dots and expand stroke. And then pick up the other line because I lift it off. Do the same again. And then let's pick up both the curves and go over to the Shape Builder tool where I can join all this together. If you haven't seen my tutorial on the Shape Builder tool, I'll leave a link in the description. Let's just join all this together. And then we can go back over to the Node tool and we have a letter that is hand drawn, but we can change all the each individual section of the line work. Uh, we can delete these nodes. We can add new ones in and it will give you full creative freedom over your lettering. If you found the video useful, give me a like and please do consider subscribing to the channel. I try and put out videos every day on tips for Affinity Inkscape and vinyl sticker making. If you've got any questions, drop a comment.